Rapids going 870 yards in the ZI 870 yard championship. Number one is Bullet's brother, owned by Martina Rona and Veronica Gonzalez, trained by Martina Rona of Vicente Grajeta Rides. Number two, I'm Off and Running, owned by Story, Story and Story, trained by Martina Rona, Gaspar Garcia in the Irons. Number three, BRT Opulence, owned by Rogelio Carrasco, trained by Martina Arona, Escar Ramirez, the pilot. Number four, Bond Daddies, owned by Double Key LLC and Grissom Racing Incorporated, trained by Dwayne Grissom. Martine Bordier has the call. Number five, What a Lucky Man, owned and trained by Rene Sacero, the rider is now Alfonso Perez. Number six, the Lumba de los Materas, owned and trained by Manuel Uriosti. Ricky Ramirez handles the reins. Number seven, Co Capelli's Baby Cakes, owned by Dolores Burdine, trained by Jose Dominguez, Alejandro Medellin up. Number eight, Tizzy Fit, owned and trained by Poppy Aldevez. Make the rider Noe Garcia. That's the field of the first quarter horses and thoroughbreds going 870 yards in the Zia 870 yard championship. First offers exact post. There goes Bond Daddy's second last, the lone thoroughbred in the race. Completing the field will be Cocapelli's Baby Cakes. Cocapelli's Baby Cakes coming in. All set for the Zia 870 Championship. Riders off, I'm off and running. Gaspar Garcia climbing back aboard. break the rail for Bullet's brother and he's a half length clear early of BRT opulence and what a lucky man. Following that is I'm off and running in Tizzy Fit Coke Capelli's Baby Cakes. The two at the back Bond Daddies and Los Lumbre de los Bateras through the far turn with 550 left to go. Bullet's brother narrowly in front of BRT opulence who keeps the pressure on. Then it's what a lucky man in third two off the lead. Another two back to Tizzy Fit. They move for the 330 mark Bullet's brother finding more. Bullet's brother a neck in front of BRT opulence in third is what a lucky man they're at the head of lane. It's Bullet's brother, BRT Opulence. What a lucky man is still in third. BRT Opulence, Bullet's brother, battle it out. BRT Opulence going better. BRT Opulence wins. Three parts of a lane from Bullet's brother. And then it was Bond Daddies. And maybe what a lucky man held on for fourth, but was tiring. Turning to the winner's circle, the first and second place finishers of the ZIA 870 Championship. The winner of the three, BRT Opulence, a seven-year-old seven -year sorrel gelding by a real runaway out of La Vida y Bella. Zoned by Rogelio Carrasco, trained by Martin Arona, winning rider Escar Ramirez. BRT Opulence was bred in New Mexico by 
Bob's Story DVM, Ryan's Story, and Tyler's Story. In the winner's circle to present the trophy of the Zia 870 Championship to the winning connections of the three BRT Opulence is the trustee for the New Mexico Horse Breeders Association. Number one is Dueling Juan, owned by A&F Racing LLC, Agorcia and Foto, trained by Harvey Baeza, Escar Ramirez, the jockey. Scratch the two, Miracle Snow. Number three, Infamous Caper, owned by Ramon Gonzalez Jr., trained by Ramon Gonzalez, Jose Montoya at the helm. Number four, Rabbit Revival, owned by Rita Danley, trained by Fred Danley, Larry Gamez aboard. Number five, Lethal Delight. Owned by P.K. Thomas, trained by Blaine Wood, Ricky Ramirez in the stirrups. Number six, Genuine American. Owned by J&L Stables LLC and Freda Draper, trained by Carl Draper. Roy Baldiaz has the assignment. Number seven, Genuine Joy. Owned by Freda Draper, trained by Carl Draper. Larry Payne in the saddle. Number eight, Mighty's Last Call, owned by Richard Shearer, trained by J.J. Gonzalez, Felipe Garcia Luna rides. Number nine, One Hot Mechanic, owned by Rancho Los Dos Patrios, LLC, trained by Ralph Munoz, Oscar Rincon in the irons. And number ten, Captain Jacks Burrow, owned by David Barrett, trained by Fred Danley, J.R. Carter, the pilot. That's the field of the second. Quarter horses going 400 yards. The grade 2 Zia Handicap. Second offers Exacta, Quinella, Trifecta, and Superfecta wagering. Let's call. Final three. One Hot Mechanic, Lethal Delight, Captain Jacksboro. One Hot Mechanic coming on up. Moving in. Lethal Delight takes her spot. And now one back, Captain Jacksboro. Captain Jacksboro going on in, all set for the grade two, Zia Handicap. Rabbit Revival acting up in the gate. Ejected the rider. Larry Gamez, he's walking around behind the gate. Now climbing back aboard. 
They're all set again. They're ready. It was a fast break from the far side for Captain Jacksboro. Lethal Delight came away fast as well, and then it's Genuine Joy down at the rail is Dueling Wan. Lethal Delight, Genuine Joy, Dueling Wan, Infamous Caper, Lethal Delight, and Gen Genuine Joy, Genuine Joy from Genuine American, Genuine Joy, Genuine American, Lethal Delight, and Infamous Caper. The trainer once again hits the exacta. This time around, Carl Draper. Now entering the winner's circle, winner of the Grade 2 Zia Handicap, number 7, Genuine Joy. She's a five-year-old gray mare by Genuine Strawfly out of Supra Perla Negra. She's a homebred of Freda Draper, trained by Carl Draper, winning rider Larry Payne. Genuine Joy was bred in New Mexico. In the winner's circle to present the trophy of the Zia Handicap to the winning connections of the Seven Genuine Joy, it's the trustee for the New Mexico Bred Horse Breeders Association, Johnny Trujillo. Number one is New Mexico Streaker, owned by Rancho Los Dos Patrios, LLC, trained by Ralph Munoz, Oscar Rincon, the writer. Number two, Spice Girl, owned and trained by Raymond Carlisle, Carlos Madeira, handles the reins. Number three, Lionitis, owned by S. Al Masillo, trained by Salvador Soto, Jesse Lavario, up. Number four is Tally's First Shake, owned by Sebio Sanchez, trained by Emilio Cadena. Noe Garcia, the jockey. Number five, EBW Get You Some, owned by Wood, Wood, and Hubbard, trained by Blaine Wood, Ricky Ramirez at the helm. Number six, Pacquiao Bay, owned by David Barrett and Sue May, trained by Fred Danley, J.R. Carter aboard. Number seven, Viva La Moon, owned by Alvarez, Madrano, and Ogas, trained by Juan Gonzalez, Gaspar Garcia in the stirrups, and the ladies and gentlemen, Rito Sedowns congratulates Juan and Patty Gonzalez for their 25th wedding anniversary. Number 8, Willman, owned by David Barrett, trained by Fred Danley. Cody Jensen has the assignment. Number 9, Habit Rabbit, owned by Rita Danley, trained by Fred Danley, Bonifacio Perez in the saddle. Number 10, Cosby, owned by the Cause Bunch, trained by Wes Giles, Tony Guyman rides. That's the field of the third quarter horses going 400 yards in the Grade 2 Zia Derby. This race offers exacta, quinella, trifecta, and superfecta wagering. Here comes Habit Rabbit and Tally's first shake. The last two will be EBW Get You Some and Cosby. EBW, get you some. Moving on in. 
and last in, Cosby. Cosby in, all set for the grade two, Zia Derby. They're running. Cosby broke out at the start. Breaking in was Habit Rabbit. It was a fast break for Tally's first shake, along with EBW Get You Some, and inside New Mexico Streaker. New Mexico Streaker has the lead. Chased by Tally's first shake, then EBW Get You Some. New Mexico Streaker and Oscar Rincon win it just over a length from Tally's first shake. EBW Get You Some, and then a close photo for fourth, maybe led by Pacquiao Bay, Bay but it was a close photo for fourth. Circle winner of the grade two Zia Derby number one New Mexico Streaker. He's a three year old brown gelding by Brookstone Bay out of Invisible Streaker. Zoned by Rancho Los Dos Patrios LLC. Trained by Ralph Munoz. Winning rider Oscar Rincon. New Mexico Streaker was bred in New Mexico by Jerry and Sherry Cannon. The payouts, Exacto 1-4, $132.40. Quinello 1-4, $112.20. Trifecta 1-4-5, $808. Superfecta 1-4-5-6, $122.73. The pick 3, 371, $411.80. In the winner's circle to present the trophy of the Zia Derby to the winning connections of the one New Mexico streaker is trustee of the New Mexico Horse Breeders Association, Tom. The Sierra Starlet Handicap. Number one is Hot Lola, owned by L.A. Get Racing Stables, trained by Miguel Silva, Ricardo Jaime aboard. Number two, Hennessy's Lady Legend, owned by Andy Banagas, trained by Thomas Marino, Enrique Gomez at the helm. Number three, Squall Wilbud, owned by W.T. Stradley and Tom Williams, trained by Fred Danley, Alfredo Juarez Jr., the jockey. Scratch the four, high-speed rescue. Number five, Very Shiny, owned by Vernon and Sylvia Housechild, trained by Chris Fullerton, Larry Gamez up. Number six, Comics Perfect Storm, owned by Helen Nave, trained by Todd Fincher, Wanachoa handles the reins. Number seven, I Play Tricks, owned by Joe Allen and Michael Stenson, trained by Joel Marr, Carlos Madeira, the rider. Number eight, Rollin' Rollin' in Doe, owned by Rita Danley, trained by Fred Danley, Vicente Grajeta has the call. Number nine, We Remember Win Rose, owned by Dub and Sherry Ann Wallace, trained by Greg Green, Jorge Rocha, the pilot. Number ten, Ghostly Beach. Owned by William Henderson, trained by Jose Gonzalez, Alejandro Medellin in the Irons. Number 11, Charleston Bound. Owned by Mary Balch, trained by Clifford Lambert, Casey Lambert rides. That's the field of the four thoroughbreds going five and a half furlongs in the Sierra Starlet Handicap. This race offers exacta, quinella, and superfecta wagering, and it is the first half of the Tri-Super.
trying again with Hennessy Lady Legend. Now she goes in. Squall Willbud coming up. Going in. Very Shiny is next. There goes Ghostly Beach. Final two comics, Perfect Storm in Charleston bound. Here comes Comics Perfect Storm. She's in. Charleston bound to the outside. Charleston bound moving in. All set for the fourth. They're off and running in the Sierra Starlet Handicap. Veering to the outside fence was Charleston bound. Squall Wilbud broke good from between horses, and now there goes Hennessy Lady Legend to take over. Comics Perfect Storm is in the second, outside of Squall Wilbud and Hot Lola having to go off the fence and trying to get to the outside of Hennessy Lady Legend. We couldn't do it, and now the new leaders, Comics Perfect Storm. Rollin' Rollin' and Doe is four off the lead, another length to Very Shiny, then I play tricks to her outside. Remember, Winrose has eight lengths to make up, and then it's Ghostly Beach, and at the back is Charleston Bound. They move for the quarter pole. Comics Perfect Storm. Wanachoa has now leads the way two and a half from Hot Lola. And to her outside squall, Wilbud and the others have a lot of ground to make up. Hennessy Lady Legend dropped away. They're at the head of the lane. A furlong left to go. And it's all Comic Perfect Storm's race to lose. She leads by five from Squall, Wilbud and Hot Lola. They come down the lane. Comics Perfect Storm. It's Comics Perfect Storm drifted in, nearly hit the fence. But she's going to win clear. She's going to get another stakes win almost a year to the day from her last race getting up second Charleston bound and it was Squall Wilbud and Hot Lola of the Sierra Starlet Handicap number six comics perfect storm she's a three-year-old bay filly by comic genius out of Cat's Bounty he's a homebred of Helen Knave trained by Todd Fincher and was ridden to victory by Juan Ochoa Comics Perfect Storm was bred in New Mexico.